The terror began in darkness, a city mostly asleep, not knowing daytime would bring a lot more of this. Memphis police say they responded to Ezekiel Kelly's first crime at one in the morning at this home on Lindale Avenue, a shooting leaving 24-year-old Dwayne Tunstall dead. Hey, man, check this out. His shooting spree continued Wednesday afternoon with Kelly putting some of it on social media, including a hit at a Nutbush area AutoZone store on Jackson Avenue around 6 o'clock. Ezekiel Kelly was on Facebook Live when he opened fire inside the store. That's when police say they got a tip from the public that put the city on lockdown. We received information from a concerned citizen that suspect was on Zeke Huncho's Facebook Live stating that he was threatening to cause harm to citizens. At this time, the Memphis Police Department launched a citywide search. Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis says that also prompted them to tell people to stay inside. A city brought to a standstill with restaurants and local activities shut down. In all, Davis says between 4.30 and 9 p.m., he made seven stops, killing three more people, injuring three more, and carjacking at least two vehicles. He went from Soulsville to South Memphis to Nutbush to Midtown to Southwest Memphis and South Haven, Mississippi, before officers spotted his stolen Dodge Challenger on Interstate 55 and took him into custody in Whitehaven. This has been a horrific week for the city of Memphis and the Memphis Police Department. Chief Davis thanked the public for helping them catch the suspect and expressed her condolences to the families of those affected, reassuring people he's now in custody. Stacey Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3.